Storm damage was not isolated just to McConnell Air Force Base. Heavy rain and strong winds building across the entire Wichita area across south central Kansas. Sean Logging gives us a look. A storm filled start to Sunday. And just listening to the storm because I love a good storm and we've had some good storms lately. So it was good thunder, big thunder, and then I heard a really big thunder which I don't think maybe was a thunder. I'm thinking maybe it was that falling down. A decades old tree in Phil Thompson's yard sent tumbling down to impact his driveway. El North, of all the places to fall, perfect, great. I'm thankful for that. Phil says east would have been his neighbor's house, south his garage, and west his home, directly over the bedroom. You wouldn't be doing this interview, maybe. This fallen tree shaving off the branches of another. You got to get amongst it to really see the enormity of it making a big mess. I mean, this is this is like a little tree fort here, you know, and the stump over there is as tall as I am. The storm propagating so. over the metro in south central Kansas with more than just wind, but heavy rains leading to isolated street flooding in Wichita and some water stalled cars. Power outages also for stoplights in people's homes into the dark. Back at Phil's home, it seems he was the one singled out by this storm in his neighborhood. What gets me, though, is everybody in this neighborhood, if you see this neighborhood, nobody else had this. So what happened here? What happened? I don't know. While it will take some work to clean up, Phil says his neighbor is helping him get a start. Certainly going to change up the landscape around here, though. In Wichita, Sean Logan, 12 News. Take a look at some of your storm shots sent in this morning. Those storms producing that loud thunder and plenty of lightning. As you can see, many of you were able to truly capture the power of that lightning. Make sure to download the Storm Team 12 weather app. Send in your storm shots. You can do so by scanning the QR code. Uh, enable location settings so you can see the hour by hour temperature in your area. We'll also send you push notifications to let you know about any big changes to the forecast.